Hey, it's Jim. Just uh, getting ready to split cases and stuff on the other 064. Just uh, trying to clean it up a little bit. <clears throat> I've been running the old uh, used motor oil in her, so it's uh, plenty gross. But uh, anyway, I'll, uh, give you a look at her once I make a little progress here. Hey, it's Jim. It's Wednesday evening. Um, back on the other 064. This is the one that I thought had the bad crank bearing on the clutch side because I could kind of see the ball bearings falling as I turned the crank. I could hear them clanking kind of thing. So I was pretty sure there was no cage in there anymore. Um, <clears throat> So anyways, uh, I just uh, finished scraping some of the mess off, I uh, pulled all the case bolts out, we'll get rid of the seal there, and um, try and bring this in so you can see the same thing as I was trying to explain the other day. So there's basically none on the top. They're all on the bottom. Oh, they're now they're coming to the top. Okay, so this is really similar to uh, those real negative experiences I was having with the Husky 562s because they were using nylon cage bearings and the cages just didn't handle the torque and the heat and all that kind of stuff. And basically what happens is uh, cages deteriorate and then... Uh, they end up getting sucked <clears throat> through the crankcase and go up through your transfers and usually uh, end up through the transfers in with the piston and uh, sometimes they scuff it, sometimes they don't. And then what happens is the ball bearings start to uh, make their way up there because uh, there's normally enough room now for this crank to uh, go where it wants. And so it ends up with uh, some of these bearings being able to uh, come through. And then when they end up going through, <clears throat> they just about always uh, pinch between the transfer port and when the piston's coming up. And so it ends up cutting a deep groove in the cylinder uh, above the transfer port and takes out the piston and rings as well and so at that point your uh, cylinder's toast uh, because it's above pretty much all your ports there so you'll never build compression and uh, it just makes a big mess out of stuff so anyway this is supposed to be about a still 064 um, and uh, we'll get our puller on here so that uh, we can get this case split apart. And uh, I think I counted all the bolts that I need to. So uh, this one here is fairly versatile. I uh, cut a few notches in it and made it even more versatile. So it works on a lot of different saws now. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward kind of deal. Um, but anyways, so just uh, I think I'm pretty close to being centered. Oh yeah, and you can see. That Start the spread. I'm just gonna make sure I got them all. Maybe relieve some of the tension there, cause uh, <clears throat> we don't want to end up with her getting kinked up. Either that, or I'm not quite centered right here.
See, this is why I usually just uh, bring you guys back for the good stuff so that uh, you don't end up having to sit through this kind of thing. Just one of the little dolls here that's uh there she comes one of the dolls that was hanging up there usually it's a lot slicker than that i guess that's what happens when you decide to make a video eh okay just back this one off i might have moved her too far now the other way So yeah, pretty busy day today. I uh, was out in the morning uh, pruning a peach tree for an old guy. That was the old guy that gave me the home light. So uh, he was pretty happy about that. Uh, and I uh, pruned some of my crab apple trees here. And then I tried grafting uh, some of those pear tree scions or shoots or whatever onto uh, a couple of my ornamental apples. And also uh, my neighbor's got one and uh, her tree doesn't self-pollinate so it uh, is missing the male parts. So uh, anyway, I... Uh, Grafted a couple of those shoots onto hers, and uh, we'll see if they end up with uh, pears over there. Um, they'd had to uh, go over to a friend of theirs on the other side of the city there and uh, get the uh, whatever face cloth or something, I guess, and uh, wipe along the other ones and then bring that back and wipe it across there so that they'd get some pears. So, anyway. Um, Let's see here. Hopefully you can see. So there's uh there's a lot of gaps in that thing. Um I don't know if I got something that's I got nothing that's clean here, but anyway, maybe you can kind of see there. So so yeah, definitely did need to uh be pulled apart. <coughs> I'll end up taking that bearing out. Oh yeah. Let's see uh very solid looking positioning pin too, not just like those little soft uh, round pieces of tube that fold up. So I guess that's why it was being a little persistent there. Definitely don't want to twist those guys or they'll crack it. Yeah, so. Um, then we'll just pull the. crank out of here and uh, yeah I found some uh, bearings actually it was kind of neat uh, going through a bin in the back there with a uh, 066 parts that uh, the uh, kind of work order thing has uh, one of my uncle's names on it at least I think it is the last name anyway same same last name no first name on it, no date, but uh, those bearings and seals and stuff were, I think the bearings were around six or eight bucks or something like that. So, and those are still, so uh, that's been a while ago. So anyway, that uh, that's kind of cool. So yeah, uh, get that out of there and then uh, throw this thing in the tank and 
get it cleaned up and then uh, <clears throat> I've had really good luck putting these on the wood stove and uh, just letting letting the case warm up and then uh, usually these guys pop through without any issues so that'll be my game plan and uh, hopefully I'll be messing around with a little bit more of this one tomorrow I got a uh, tree plan to do for a guy up north uh, <clears throat> he's a farmer so you know million dollar property wants to uh, change the look of the place a little bit around the home site so I went up and uh, gave him some ideas so I gotta formalize that and then uh, yeah another uh, buddy sending me his uh, 462 steel I guess sir he'd been having some trouble with it and then he's got a 661 that he was having some trouble with so I'll just uh, <clears throat> keep getting them ones finished up and I got the other parts for a couple of the other saws here that I've uh, been waiting on parts for so either way I'm going to be busy and then I got uh, some stuff of my own to do there I got a dirt bike a street legal one there that uh, I want to get back together and get it on the market because uh, I'd like to get rid of that and then I got uh, a Subaru Forester Turbo that uh, Need some CV joints and struts and stuff like that and a couple of hubs, so that's going to keep me busy for a bit too. So I'm just try and keep my head above water here, I guess, and I go back to work. So we'll be four days on doing uh, trees and and then uh, my balance of the week back in here. So you guys have a good night. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe. We'll catch you later.